The task force came about back in 1990. FEMA decided at that time to put together some specialized task forces to assist people in collapse structure, whether that's man-made or natural disaster. And it's a specialized rescue team. We have doctors, we have uh, specialized search canines, um, our tech search specialists that work with electronic equipment to locate victims. And we only go out by a presidential declaration. This team and these other 27 teams across the country are always waiting. They're training continuously with a bunch of type A individuals who always want to go somewhere. And we don't go that often. Fortunately, there aren't that many major disasters in the country. In July of 2009, we were called up to Logan for the landslide that occurred there as a result of the irrigation canal collapse. And it was our first in-state deployment. The mayor got a hold of the governor and the governor deployed us up there. We've sent individuals to Hurricane Sandy. Our team deployed to Hurricane Katrina twice in 2005. We are first and foremost an asset for the state of Utah. We are in the biggest earthquake threat in the country, in my opinion. When it happens, it's going to be huge. It's gonna affect a lot of people along the Wasatch Front for a very long time. Our goal is to get people from all over the state competent. There are a whole bunch of heroes that have done major heroic things because Bill Brass got that out of them. Anytime you go on a disaster of the scope that we see, there's a risk that it's going to scar you for life. And you have to be prepared for that as part of it. But I would tell you that none of them have ever stepped away from that obligation. Bill Brass took a program that when he showed up was literally as low as it could get. They were seriously thinking about D funding and making our program go away. And he took that program and made it one of the top urban search and rescue teams in the entire country.